Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have this look for you guys. When I first, you know, sat down to film it, the intention was to use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which I did. I totally used this palette for the entire eye look. Um, but I wanted it to be super wearable and super natural. But as I started doing it, I realized it's a little more than like a daytime glam, but it's a little less than a good like going out, you know, like I'm a beat my face type of look. It's like a good in between. So it's like a um, cocktail party glam, if you will, because those are normally like five o'clock. Um, also, I just want to say, can you guys please leave me a comment down below of what videos you guys want to see? Because I have like literally three videos in my ideas on my phone, but I like, I can't think of anything to do. But um, other than that, let's get started. My hair is still like damp from my shower, so don't mind it. It gets absolutely crazy when it's curled. I mean, not when it's curled, when it's air drying. So I'm first going to start off by priming my face. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. When it's this hot in Pennsylvania right now, you need something to cool you down, and this does it. Oh my god, it feels so good. <laughs> All right, now moving on to the skin and onto the face. I am kind of in between shades right now, so I'm going to mix together the Naked Skin, I need to like learn the name of this, the One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector, or maybe they need to make the name shorter, I don't really know. And this is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, no, Dream Cure, excuse me, Dream Cure BB Cream in the shade Medium. I always get stuff in my hair and it really bothers me. The thing about doing your eyebrows, before your face makeup is that like you have to be a little more careful. How do you guys sit when you sit in chairs? Like what's your go-to sitting position? Mine is to always sit on my left foot. Like right now I'm sitting on my left foot. Let me know in the comments like how do you guys sit? Also, let me know what do you call Indian style? Like when you sit down with like your legs interlocked and like cross over one another. I always grew up and oh my god, I just literally found a grain of rice on me. When I was in elementary school, they called it crisscross applesauce. So I've always called it crisscross applesauce. And the other day I was with um, Matt and I said, you know, something about crisscross applesauce. Like I sat crisscross applesauce and he was like, you mean Indian style? And I'm like, you mean pretzel style? So like apparently there's three terms for it. Okay, let's move on to concealer. Um, this is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I actually don't even have my shade because I let my sister borrow it, not knowing I'd be this tan. Nadia, I kind of want that back, but it's okay, you can keep it. I'm going to mix these two. This one is light medium and this one is tan. I haven't been playing around with these too, too much because I've been loving my Maybelline concealer but everyone is raving about these so I'm gonna try them out oh yep that's a little bit too light okay I have no idea how to correctly mix concealer maybe I should on the back of my hand let's hope I get the same color <laughs> I totally could get different colors now I'm also putting this on my eyelids to prime my eye because I uh, eye primers are a myth okay now I'm gonna take the lighter concealer and just throw that on high points. I've really been into like super light face makeup. Like I'm a little bit worried. It actually looks a little dark underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna... I feel like I'm a six year old that doesn't know how to do makeup. Now I'm just getting cakey. I'm gonna set with the La Mercier translucent powder. But I feel like I did a pretty good color match. Okay, and then I am just gonna throw a little bit of bronzer on right now. It's Hula by Benefit. This is literally my go-to. Remember one time I was filming a video, Matt was in the room. I feel like all I ever talk about is Matt because it's really all I ever talk about. And um, I did half my face in bronzer and I turned to him. I was like, can you see a difference? He's like, yeah, I can. Like, okay, you can tell. Do you see the difference? Use bronzer. The Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a special palette to me because it is literally like one of the only palettes I've ever bought online. So we are first going to take a flat shader brush in this shade Tempura, 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 like a shrimp tempura roll. I used to have those at, uh, oh god, what's that place called that everyone likes? Nobu, Nobu. Um, the first time I ever had sushi was at Nobu in Malibu and I got the shrimp tempura roll. And this was when I was like not eating plant-based and um, 
it was the best thing ever and I absolutely hate sushi and I hate seafood but that was so good so ever since then I literally have not been able to eat sushi because I was so spoiled by the taste of Nobu shrimp tempura roll that I literally was like a spoiled sushi brat and I was like this doesn't taste like Nobu. That was a base to you know whatever do the do the things that we do for the eyes. Now I'm gonna grab a MAC 224. This is my favorite blending brush ever. It is just the best. And I'm first gonna take the shade golden ochre ochre I think and we are gonna throw this into the crease. This can go pretty high. This is our main transition shade. So don't be scared. Then we're gonna take burnt orange right here. And we're gonna throw this on the outer crease of my eye and a little bit onto my lower lid. And then I'm gonna occasionally bring it in. I'm really trying to make this more of a cut crease kind of look, but a very, oh my God, wait, I should, why aren't, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm really trying to make this more of a cut crease. And then I'm just going to take my blending brush and go right over the top. And then I'm going to go in here with the shade Real Gar. I love this shade. And I'm just keeping this on the outer corner. And buff that there. Now I'm going to go in with this little tiny cute brush. I think it's by Crown. We're going to go back in with that tempura, tempura shade. And I'm just going to go right along where I want this to be carved out. And then I'm just going to switch over to a larger synthetic brush and just double pack that on. For an under brow highlight, I'm going to take the shade The Mirror right here. It's such a bomb under eyebrow. I'm just going to hit that right on the highest point and drag that out like oof. I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara on my upper lashes. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. Then I'm going to throw on some lashes and these are Siren by House of Lashes. For the rest of the eyes, I'm first going to start off with the shade Relgar. I'm going to run this right along my outer. Actually, we're going to bring this all the way in. I want a really doe-eyed look. And then I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange and hit that right under it. And then to blend it out more, I'm going to go in with Golden Ochre in a blending brush. I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner from where my lashes are to my inner tear duct. I'm then going to take a white eyeliner. This is... Exit by ColourPop. And I'm just going to put this in my waterline. Last thing for the eyes. I'm going to go back in with that temp tempura shade. We're just going to call it tempura. And I'm really going to go to town on this inner corner. I am bringing this in all the way. I also don't want to hear one comment that says that this looks like all my other looks. Because it doesn't. Want to know why? I always put a shimmer shade on my inner corner. I'm not today. This is matte. That is so different and nothing at all like any of my looks. I'm going to keep my face pretty brown toned for the most part. So this is Soft Brown, um, not Soft Brown, Soft and Gentle by MAC. And on Saucy 823, this is the best highlighting brush. I got mine at Sephora. I'm just going to hit my cheekbones with this. And then I'm going to go in with this blush. This is by Tarte in the shade Dazzled. And then for lips, I'm going to use Dolce K by Kylie Cosmetics. Should I ombre lip it? Yeah. Yeah, I should. And 
And then I'm gonna take exposed and put this right in the center. All right, I'm gonna go do my hair, change, and I'll be right back. So that is all for this tutorial. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me in the comments down below your request. I really do need to know. I really hope you guys all liked this. I love you all so, so much. Please be sure to subscribe so you guys can have more videos from me whenever you guys want. I love you. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.